concerning sexuality, possibilities can be called quite interesting. For example, a spirit can at any time stimulate the sexual organs, irritate the corresponding sensitive areas of the skin and other parts. He can also increase blood pressure in specific body parts. Another variant is to generate arousal, even at neutral things like the sight of skin. A spirit likes to constantly draw a person's gaze and attention to people, pictures and other things that can be considered as stimulus triggers and then carry out the stimulus itself. Again, please imagine that Indeed, a spirit might stimulate your sexual energy or organs himself while he draws your attention to something and fools you to believe that's the reason for it. At the same time, he can superimpose erotic scenes and words on the mind. Another way to increase pressure is to heat up sexual energy stored in the body. In a hot state, this energy is not only uncomfortably intrusive, but also sensitive and explosive. The spirit can push it further by putting pressure on the attention to draw it to the energy and keep hitting it. Or he goes even further and immediately draws up the energy himself to absorb it directly on an energy channel. In such an attack, a spirit might exert pressure on all levels, aiming to gain complete control to express through a person. Especially cheeky spirits like to play subtly with sensations in the sexual area, even in everyday situations, in order to weaken, distract, unsettle people, or because they just enjoy and strengthen their feeling of power and control. In fact, it's not natural to feel aroused at the sight of a naked human being, even less at the sight of a person that seems particularly attractive. These are reactions that spirits transfer or create artificially, or that people are taught or conditioned to. Evil spirits love sex and are keen on the energy they can gain from it. So, of course, they try to sexualize people. In a dream, a person is in an unconscious state and can usually be seduced or forced very easily. However, force is not allowed and must be compensated. Of course, male humans are of particular interest because of their energy tank with a large supply. Even a slight excitement can be used to suck off energy using a hose. Overthink that. Ghosts have certain rights and responsibilities in the realm of the negative power. This also gives them a certain scope they are free to use. That makes sense, but can also be abused. Even good spirits can exert their influence over us. But that only works to the extent that a person is receptive to them. Good spirits normally obey the rules and don't abuse them. They honor and respect human free will and assist in ways that reflect us. So, unlike the evil spirits, they are not intrusive. Various strategies and tactics permitted are ethically unacceptable to them. An exception are spirits which are not necessarily so good and angelic, but nonetheless well aligned or at least well aligned with us. Therefore, a spirit that has sided with us under the influence of God power is of special value. Good spirits have certain preferences and when we cater to them, they become comfortable with us and can have a lot of influence over us as well. According to similarities, there is resonance and receptivity. Angels have different characteristics and those who want to have them around should change their habits accordingly. Accordingly.